My music is very definitely acoustic sort of music. It's folky in style, uh, although I don't do traditional uh, folk stuff. But so I guess I'm a sort of folky singer-songwriter who hates the label. I just, I, I mean, I really just write about whatever comes into my head or onto my head, and um, sometimes that's uh, big, big serious issues, and sometimes it's just little funny things about life. As a singer-songwriter, the style is, I'd describe it as contemporary folk, and it draws on a number of style elements, uh, folk, folk rock, blues, jazz, and cabaret elements. And I also am active as a composer and I write for ensembles and also um, I've written quite a lot of piano music which I have mostly played myself and the, the piano music is kind of a jazz classical fusion style. I play jazz standards original um... Uh, improvised music and um, and uh, traditional Argentinian uh, music inspired by many different styles but um, I think it comes out mainly through jazz and improvised music as well as folkloric. I play like very early jazz um, stuff. <laughs> The suburb, the area has become part of me, really, and it's changed and it's grown, but it's become, you know, from a, a suburb that was pretty down and out when we could afford to buy a house here. The demography has really changed and it's turned into a place that's incredibly vibrant. It's been a wonderful chance to meet people and gradually become part of a community. The Darabin Songwriters Guild is, is this group that I have had a, an involvement with and through, through that group have performed in Darabin. It started in 2006 at the Stolberg Beer Cafe in just bits in Preston. And then for most of the time, our home has been Bar 303 in High Street, Northcote. So I feel part of a big community, um, which I'm also very happy is, is multi-generational now. I, uh, the long and short of it is, I haven't performed as much as, as there's been this lockdown, or these many lockdowns. Um, and I've taken what chances I can when there's no lockdown to go and perform, um, and including open mics, and also not, not all in Darabin, um, and that's, that's the best I can do I, at this time. What, but I have focused on other things. I haven't stopped being active as a musician, so I have continued to write songs. I had a better than average songwriting year last year, um, yeah, and so I wrote that, that the songs in the time of coronavirus song cycle, which has eight, eight mini songs, um, and I also wrote a handful of regular guitar and voice songs. did a thing right at the start of the first lockdown. Um, I set myself the crazy challenge of writing 30 songs in 30 days and posting them up on YouTube. And um, that was, I'm really grateful for that. I never would have done that if there hadn't been lockdown. And, and you know, I've got enough songs that, are, that I'm really happy with to put an album together, maybe a, you know, an, album, an, an album and a half. And um, that's sort of, I guess, one of the next things to do. So that, that sort of time and space to write and, and I guess when the world's circumstances are different, you reflect on the world a lot. One of the little songs that I wrote through, um, through the lockdown uh, in that 30 songs in 30 days, and it's called Deja Vu. And I never really knew what to do with it, but I sang it at one of these uh, Zoom sessions and somebody said, oh, you should make one of those virtual choir videos of that. And I thought, that's a great idea, actually. And, um, and I had time on my hands, plenty of time on my hands. And so I did that. And, um, and I got people from all over the world. Together. I think it was about 80 or so or more people um, 
singing this song together. So it is one of those sort of things like a, a virtual world community that, that comes out in this video. So we all did it in our own homes. Many of those people I've never met in the flesh. Harps of Breeze is, um, it's a form of education. It's a music program that I developed about three years ago for, um, for uh, schools across Victoria. Um, most of my work is in, in primary schools and um, I decided that straight away I would, well, I, I would transition online and I would start to produce uh, these online tutorials. So yeah, basically now what happens through COVID is um, uh, when, when a school books me, a student will get this individual learning pack. They open the en envelope and there'll be um, a, a new instrument in there, a new harmonica, uh, a booklet with uh, melodies that they can learn and online access to my tutorials. Um, the thought of it happening is part of what keeps me going. If I thought it was going to be like this forever, it'd be a little bit depressing. <laughs> I look forward to just to just the ease and, and flow of, of, you know, being with people again. Can't wait to get back into schools. Um, it, that's really exciting. Um, and of course, all of my gigs. I can't wait to just get back on the bandstand and, and play my instrument again. Oh, I miss that community through music. We'll get back to it.